Anything about Ross? This is your channel. Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Then Ross step by step and push your Ross learning with just minutes of video. Hi, I'm Arif, and today we are going to look at understanding the coordinate frames in ROS. And why do we want to know this? Because this is the convention that we follow such that when we tell our robot to go forward, it knows which way is forward. Is it along the x-axis or along the y-axis? Which way is positive x? Which way is negative x? So this is the document that specifies all of this and more. But before we start, Remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy, where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation is required. You will find the link to the academy on the video description below. Now let's start with this document. This is REP number 103. The title is Standard Units of Measure and Coordinate Conventions. I know it doesn't sound that interesting, but really, it is important. Okay, so there's a few things inside this document. Mm, there's one, one section which says that uh, we have chosen to standardize on SI units, meaning ROS uses SI units. Okay, uh, there's also a section on derived units. Uh, this is what we are looking for, coordinate frame conventions. All coordinate frames should follow these conventions. All systems are right-handed. Uh -huh. This means they comply with the right-hand rule. In relation to a body, the standard is X is forward. X is forward, Y is left, and Z is up. Take out your right hand and do this. Okay? So, uh, the index finger is pointing towards the x-axis. The middle finger points towards the y-axis. And the thumb points towards the z-axis. Okay? Positive x is forward. Negative x is reverse. To the left, it means positive y. And to go up, it's positive z. Okay, now let's say we have this uh, simulation, a drone simulation. It is a drone. It's, I have it take, take off already. So it's a parrot drone. And let's give it some, some commands so that it moves. Okay, so if I say, uh, if I say X positive 0 0.1, it should go forward. So forward in this case, for the drone, it is the, the red nose is pointing towards its forward, okay? Forward, it's facing forward. Okay, so the draw is now moving forward. Let's say uh, a negative number. So X negative would cause it to go in reverse. It's moving slowly because it's only 0 0.1 meters per second. Okay, let's say, uh, let's change um, Y now. Say so x becomes 0 0.0, y becomes minus 0.2. Go. So now it goes to the right because this is a negative y. Okay, negative number on the y axis. And that was it. I hope this short explanation will be beneficial for you. So in this part, we have a look at linear coordinate frames okay for linear motion x y and z so in the, in part two the next part we will be looking at rotational motion and what's the right hand rule like for rotations so in the description of the video below you will find all the links to the resources mentioned throughout this video and if you like the video Please give us a thumb up, thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Peace out.